what's up? Just my luck. Just my luck. All right, so I'm going to tell y'all a story. But it's not a story. It's real life. <laughs> All right, so um, I previously had a job that I liked. Um, I understood it. Um, you know, and the people were awesome there. It was walking distance. I just, I wasn't really feeling the hours. And I wanted to get into sales. Okay. Um, so, I don't know. I just worked there for about six months. And then I was just, then my friend told me about this new job where it's like, you know, sales job opportunity. And she's like, oh my goodness, this place that I'm working is just so awesome. Um, you know, they have like sales job and I already got a raise and the boss is so nice, everything like that. Now, so I had one day off, um, at my pre previous job. And then, so I go there at this new one. This new possible one. He hires me on the spot. He was like, he's like, you can make about $40,000 a year. He's like, I'm not even kidding you. Like the sales like team does make that. Okay. So I was like, oh my goodness. Like, cause you know, I want to like, I'm really into music and I want to get like the things that I need for like equipment and computer and just like, just everything. Right. Um, okay. So I give my week's notice to my previous job and I feel like they were going to be okay because, like, they were hiring so many people. I was kind of getting claustrophobic a little bit. I was just like, oh, my gosh, there's so many new people. Um, and so I feel like, oh, you know, they're going to be okay. And they were okay. So um, so I go to this new job. And, like, within the first week, uh, people were getting their checks. But what happened was their checks, they had a meeting, like, the, the main guy, the one that hired me. Um, he gives a little meeting in the morning and he says, um, just let you know, um, if you have any bounce checks, uh, just let us know. We'll write out a check. I'm like, ding, 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 ding. I'm like, that's a huge alarm bell. What, what, what's going on? Um, yeah. So I hear these, uh, two elderly, you know, these two men, they were talking in the little conference room and they were saying, oh yeah, this happened a couple of times. I'm like, what? I'm like, uh, okay, you know, and then the boss, I'm like, what is going on? You know, he's like, well, and he just gave him a little meeting and he was just like, you know, he was like, well, um, you know, it's because of another banking system or whatever that, um, they, um, they're having a hard time, like writing out checks or something like that. I don't know. They just, it was some kind of excuse that it did not make sense to me. Okay. So, you know, there were some people aggravated, you know, because they had to go, um, to their bank on their day off or during their time that they're working and they had to go to the bank and you know and then um some of them went in the negative or something like that and I'm just like uh I don't want my check to be messed with at all like I want my check to be solid like I'm not playing around with that so anyway um I started noticing though people were being let go as well I mean they started laying off people I'm like what you know, so, um, there were some people talking, doing a little gossiping, um, but maybe not gossip. <laughs> and then, um, I, and then I talked to the guy that hired me. I said, um, yeah, so I hear that there's a lot of people being let go. Like, are y'all laying people off or what's going on? You know, like, I mean, if there's anything I'm doing, like, I want to, you know, just let, you know, if you could let me know, I don't want any surprises, you know, like, and he's like, no, there wouldn't be no surprises whatsoever. He says, you know, as long as you're, he goes, you're doing awesome. We would give you like a notice, you know, a three warning notice, like you're doing awesome. And I was like, oh, okay. So then I started questioning things. I was just like trying to figure out like, what is going on here? Then, uh, what happened was on Friday, um, the checks were coming out late. So they, they were paying us like once a week. And then, um, but there was something interesting about the check. The check didn't have a pay stub at the bottom. So I'm like, why doesn't the check stub have a pay, like, why doesn't the check have a pay stub? That's shady, you know? And so I asked him, I was like, where is my pay stub? You know, I didn't say it like that, but I'm like, uh, yeah, I want to look at my pay stub. And they're like, oh, we'll give that to you in two days. And I was like, okay, all right. So, you know, uh, first the first week checks are bouncing. Uh, you know, second week people started to get laid off. Um, then what happened yesterday. So then what happened was there was a supervisor. She was good. You know, she's like, Oh my goodness, you're doing so awesome. Like I want to, um, promote you. 
Okay. So I'm like, oh my goodness, promotion. You know, she told me my salary. I'll, I'll go ahead and tell it now. Might as well. Yeah, she said it was going to be about $350 a week. But then with each cell, I was going to get about $70 uh, per cell that goes through, which that's like freaking bank, right? So I was like, oh my goodness. And I have my little cozy seat and I was in training. Uh, that was just yesterday. But what happened was the Syrian program, it went down. And I was just like, oh, what's going on with that? Oh, and something else weird happened. A police officer knocked on the door. Um, he was like, okay. And so then I like, I look at, I open the door and I'm like, hi, uh, what's going on? And he's like, uh, did you get a, did, uh, did somebody call from here? You know, we have to come visit or, you know, and then he was talking to the guy that hired me and he's like, nobody called from here. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, that was weird. It just cop shows up at a business, you know, saying, uh, do somebody call here? I was just like, huh? Okay. That was weird too. But then like the program went down. So then the supervisor that was, you know, got me for my training day, you know, uh, she sent people home, um, early uh, that were in that department because the program went down. So I go to the other side where it's uh, the area before I got promoted. I'm sitting there, you know, trying to get as many sales as possible. Um, and then, so this morning, or actually it was like last night, there was a text that was sent. Um, and the text was, uh, the office is closed. Uh, don't come in tomorrow. I'm like, okay. I mean, I was kind of happy a little bit. I'm like, well, I mean, you know, it's the day off. I guess I'll, you know, do something fun a little bit today. I'll, you know, I don't know. I'll just do something today. Um, so then later on, you know, um, I get a call from the supervisor, the one that promoted me. And she said, um, oh, okay, you know, let me rewind this. Okay. So during that time, like when the checks were bouncing and stuff like that, there was like a little misunderstanding because the guy that writes the checks or does the money handling, he said that he wanted me to bring in a, a blank check. He didn't tell me to put it void or anything like that. He just told me to bring in a blank check. So, but the weird thing is they were passing out checks. Why would he need to be direct deposit when they weren't even doing direct deposit anymore? But he wanted my check. Okay. So I'm like, okay. And I was like, that's kind of fishy. When I would see that guy, the one that uh, handles the money, I'm kidding you not. Like every time I looked at his face, I'm like, there's something so freaking shady about that dude. That dude is shady. I couldn't pinpoint it. I'm like, but that dude is shady. And then when my, um, you know, supervisor tried to tell me, oh, he's just, he has such a good personality. We kick it. We have fun. I'm just like, that shady dude, because that dude, like, I mean, there's something wrong with that dude. Like, he's all dressed up in his little, you know, business, you know, business suit or whatever, but something's wrong with him. Well, anyway, so she, you know, I get a call today. The, the lady that was, you know, hiring me for my wonderful promotion. She says that the whole freaking office got laid off because that dude that was handling the checks was embezzling money. And he was using it for his own company. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I was like, excuse me. I was like, y'all just hired me. I left my previous job for this job. And I'm like, and so now what? And she's like, well, I'm sorry. It's not my fault. I'm like, um, well, somebody knew something. I'm like, somebody had to freaking know something. They kept soothsaying everybody, making it seem like nothing was a big deal. I'm like, um, what's going on? And, um, yeah. So, and then they said that tomorrow or, and I said, well, am I going to get my check? And she's like, of course we're going to give you a check. I'm like, okay. Like, I mean, y'all said a lot of shit that wasn't true, but okay. So anyway, uh, so yeah, that dude was in freaking bezeling and I hope his ass goes to freaking jail. That's what I cannot, I cannot stand dishonest people. That's just one thing that's just, I have no tolerance for shady ass people. So anyway, um, I don't even know, like supposedly he d was doing that, but who freaking knows? Who freaking knows what happened, honestly? I mean, I, I trust the, the guy that, you know, the one that hired me. I really, I mean, I don't feel like they would have hired me if they really felt like, you know, shady stuff was going down. I feel like they were trying to figure things out. They weren't, you know, they really didn't know what was going on. They probably knew that something sketchy was going on, but they hadn't like got to the bottom of it until just like yesterday. So that's what happened. They finally got down to the bottom of it, um, I guess, yesterday. 
Um, and so that's what happened, you know? But, I mean, the cool thing is I got hired on <laughs> the same exact day I got let go. I got hired on in another place. Um, I called up and I said, um, yeah, do y'all have any jobs available? Yeah, start tomorrow. Are you are you available tomorrow? I'm like, yeah. And so it has to do with like, um, it's going to be helping with essential oils. So I think that's going to be a cool job. But I'm just, you know, guys, I'm so tired of these stupid jobs. Like, okay, so many, this year, I've been around so many jobs that have just let people go all at once. I've been in a job where they went bankrupt. Um... And I didn't receive any money. Now, that was a while back when I was living here in, um, actually, yeah, that was in 2003. I was working at this um, company where things were starting to go down. That was weird. And I think it had to do with, you know, checks that they were waiting, they were holding off on checks or something. And they were, su they kept Sue saying, that's what they always will freaking do. They will make it seem like everything's okay. They're like, oh, no, 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 no. Because they really, honestly, if they shut those freaking doors, then, like, that's that's it. You don't know what chapter they've, like, you know, filed if they went bankrupt. So, I worked at that, pre, you know, that job in 2003, and they owed me $700, and I never saw it because of the chapter that they filed for when they went bankrupt, okay? So, that, and, you know, there were people trying to, you know, bang on the door, um, and they were like, where's my money? <laughs> and then they had, like, you know, the doors locked and everything like that. I'm just like, oh, that's just wonderful. Yeah, that's just wonderful. Anyway, um, just this year, well, actually, it was just last year. Um, oh, my gosh. It's been like a freaking, oh, my gosh. Okay, so there was this other place that was starting to have some weird stuff. Um, it was... Oh, it was Angie's List. Okay, so Angie's List. And um, they were... They There was... Uh, they were moving in, in the um, a different area. So, I didn't want to go all the way over to Salt Lake. Um, so, I just found another job. Um, so, then the other job that I worked for, which I really like this job a lot. Um, it was... It was for a whole year, um, but then, like, everybody got let go. They kind of downsized where it was just, like, you know, um, just like a, yeah, so they downsized. Um, so everybody got let go. Okay, so then I went to there, and then this happened just now. So I'm just, I'm really fed up with these, you know, sketchy jobs. Like, I don't know, like... I guess people just have to get, you know, used to not being comfortable. You just can't be comfortable anywhere. So, I mean, it's it's okay. I'm going to be okay. But I just don't want to do these jobs anymore. I really don't. Uh, it's, it's just a struggle because I was looking forward to my music equipment. But I'm going to trust in prayer. I'm going to say, I'm just going to leave it up to God and say, please, God. Like, I just want something solid you know, I know that maybe a job can't be there forever, but I would like to stay somewhere for at least three or four years, you know, and, um, you know, I don't want my money to be messed with <laughs> and I, I just want to do my music and have everything be okay. Like that's my passion. That's my passion. I don't want to be staring at a computer screen all day. I hate that. It hurts my eyes. You know, I don't want to be listening to a headset that hurts my ears. You know, I just... I don't know what what can a what what can I do? All right, y'all take care.